Over at the Bondi Referral Hospital Sash, Denise from the rescue group Paws has brought in an injured orphan. We think that he's possibly been hit by a car. His leg seems to be really sore. I'm sure that it's there's something going on. So, you know, I'm just a bit afraid that he might have something serious. Hello. Come through. Thank you. Hello, mister. The homeless Shih Tzu was saved from death row at a local pound. Another little waif. Another little one that you've collected. Yes. <laughs> it's great to see Denise again, but she's got another little dog here who doesn't have a name this time, and he's been picked up from the pound. He was very cross and cranky and mm -hmm. tried to snap and bite, mm -hmm. and he was limping. Well, why don't you pop him down? Let me see what he can do. Something's going on there, Denise. Yeah, I know, it looks quite nasty. He's walking really strangely. He's really sore over his back end. Uh, we think he might have been hit by a car. See the little scabs that he's got all over? So it probably didn't happen that long ago if he was hit by a car. You're a lovely boy. This bruising. So he's bruised there over his groin stomach and on his belly. I'm just having a feel over his pelvis and something doesn't feel right here. When Denise first picked him up she said he was a bit snappy and for me that's definitely because he was in a lot of pain. I think he's got some serious injuries going on. I think it, it will be just really good idea to get some x-rays, see if we can actually work out what's, what's going on. Okay. Okay. Yep, fine. Right. I'm worried that, you know, it's, it, he may have something that we can't fix. So, you know, I'm just a bit afraid that he might have something serious. OK, Andy, this is our nameless little friend okay. who's had some sort of trauma. So I think he's got a pelvic injury, but we really don't know anything about him. Emergency vet Lisa Chimes is hoping x-rays will tell her more about his sad story. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. He has got a massive pelvic fracture. His whole pelvis is completely smashed. You see that? That is a mess. Oh, poor little guy. Wonder he's walking like that. I can't believe he's walking. That, that is just amazing. What a brave dog. Makes me so upset that he's been in the pound for a week with this massive pelvic fracture. This little guy has got a shattered pelvis. He cannot function like that and he's gonna need surgery. Poor Denise, she's gonna be devastated when she hears this. She's done such a wonderful job to rescue this little guy in the first place. Okay, as we suspected, he has got pelvic fractures and the one side is pretty shattered. Uh, he's going to need surgery to fix that. Okay. Yep. And do you think you can fix it so that, you know, he'll have a good life? I definitely think it's worth a try. I will be concerned until, really, until he's up and walking again. All we can do is wait and pray. He's in good hands. This is going to be his only chance at finding him a new home is if we can fix this pelvis, which is, it's a real mess. You going to sleep? Yeah, sleep. You going to sleep. At SASH, specialist surgeon Andrew Marchewski is about to start the operation, which he hopes will change the future for this abandoned dog. He's got multiple fractures in his pelvis, it just smashed. It's a big surgery because um, we've basically got to pin, screw his pelvis back onto the base of his spine. We could damage some of the nerves there if you're not very careful because he's very small and there's not a lot of room to move. Bit nervous. Hopefully it'll be all over soon for the poor little fella. I'm just worried that when he goes in there that he may find that he can't yep. fix it. And, you know, we need him to be fixed and so that he can go and be rehomed and have a great new life. This will be a painstaking operation. 
and there are no guarantees of a successful result. Pretty much like the x-rays are showing us, I'm feeling bits of bone where they just shouldn't be. Nerves are also pushed in the wrong direction, so they're not where I'm used to looking for them, so I've just got to be extra careful. That's, um, that's really nasty. Oh, that left side's a real mess. There's a lot of scar tissue in the little dog. Because this injury is a, a couple of weeks or at least two weeks old, it's been quite difficult just getting access to the bit of bone that I need to get access to, and it's also very displaced, so it's a bit of a struggle. Unfortunately, we're going to set him back a bit, but in the long term, he'll be much better. The little Shih Tzu was dumped in a pound after a car accident shattered his pelvis. All right, so this is the femoral head, so the hip is a ball and socket joint, and this is the ball part of that joint, so we've just taken that out. There was just no way that we could reconstruct that fracture, so this is the, the next best option. Can we just take a photo? We've just used the fluoroscopy, basically real-time x-ray, so that we know exactly where those pins are. And then we'll put the screw across that joint to screw it into place. Feels nice. Right, we're done. We don't actually have to wheel them into radiology now to get x-rays, because we've already got them, so we truly are done. It's hard to know how long it'll be before he starts wanting to use that leg again. You know, I'm, I know we've set him back, so it, I think probably seven or ten days and he'll start wanting to toe touch a little bit. While waiting for the operation to finish, foster carer Denise has come up with a fitting name for the orphan. We would like to call him Andrew. After our hero, Andrew. Denise. How are you? Good, how are you? Oh, well, thanks. We must stop meeting like, like this. this. Yes. You keep bringing me little dogs to fix and we <laughs> yeah. keep fixing them. So. so how did it go? Yeah, good. You know, if, if we'd have left it, he'd have been stiff and painful. Oh, yeah. You know, it just wouldn't have been nice for him. No. We had to fix him. We had to fix him. Especially so. as his name is Andrew. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> the two Andrews. The two Andrews. Oh, well, yeah. I've had a dog named in my honour. It's about time somebody recognised his efforts and what better way than with our little dog, Andrew. Oh, that's right. Really it's nice a great honour. Yeah, it is a great <laughs> honour, absolutely. I must be doing something right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I don't really know what to think about that. No, it's lovely that she's done that. She's, I think, you know, we've helped her out a few times and I think it's her way of showing her appreciation. So I now have a little scruffy named after me. His um, prognosis otherwise was, was very poor. Very poor without what yes. we've done, for sure, yes. yeah. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you very much. Righto, Andrew. Yes, that's you. How are you doing? Um, are you growling? It's been a week since the surgery to fix Andrew's shattered pelvis. But the rescue dog isn't showing any gratitude to his surgeon and namesake. Oh, that's not very good. Um, <laughs> Come on. I'm coming out. How are you going? Come on. Hop on the ground. How are you going on that leg? Come on. Oh, that's not too bad. He's recovering amazingly well. I mean, he came in with a, a smashed pelvis that no dog had any right to be walking around on. And then I thought he'd be that's off the leg for a couple of weeks and he's trotting around like he never had a problem. See how this is doing. A little bit swollen, but it's not too bad, is it? It's as good as he looks. I think if he tried to just run around and do normal things, he'd end up hurting himself. So he's basically just got to be kept pretty confined on a leash for about four or six weeks, and then after that he can do whatever he wants. I'm here to pick up Andrew the dog. Not the doctor. Not the doctor. <laughs> not <laughs> a problem. I'll let him know you're here. Just Thank have a seat. You. Thank you. Thanks. Denise has arrived to take Andrew home. He'll stay with her until she can find him a new family. Denise is amazing. She gets these poor little orphan strays that are beaten up, bashed up, broken. Um, she doesn't own them, but she just figures they deserve a chance, and so she gives them a chance. She's phenomenal. I think the world of Andrew, the person, for fixing Andrew the dog and all the other little dogs that he's helped. Do you think that, 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 that we look similar? Yeah. 
We're very similar in our nature because he's, he's very tough because he's walking around with a smashed pelvis, the same sort of thing I'd be doing. God, that's... <laughs> <laughs> he's a good bloke and the dog's a good bloke, so they should share a name. Andrew? 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 Hello? No. I think he's assiduously trying to avoid me because I might go away and he might be able to go home. Not too fast, you're not that good. You've got to take it easy. There you go, there's your little soldier. Andrew! <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Look at you! Oh, yeah, yeah. what a good boy! I have no idea how good he's How doing. are you feeling? He is just amazing. It's great watching Andrew trotting down the hallway um, there. It's, I guess he's trotting down the hallway to another life, which he wasn't going to get until he met Denise. He looks really good. I'm absolutely thrilled with him. It means an awful lot to me to be able to help the ones who are not perfect and find them the perfect home. That's, that's what I'm here for, I'm sure. That's what I'm here for. You're a good boy. It's a good name. You make me proud. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Andrew. Bye. Come on! As for Andrew, Come on. after a rough start to life, everything is finally falling into place. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Come on. He's settled in with Alice and he's just part of the family now. Alice, come here. Come on. You sit down too. He's a good boy. I can't believe his story and how resilient and tough he is, even though he's just such a gentle little soul, he's gorgeous. Andrew. Hey. The name was a funny thing, actually. At first, I thought, oh, gosh, do I change it? And then I heard the story about Andrew, the surgeon, that did some wonderful work on him, and um, I thought, well, fair enough, that's great. We can keep his name after his saviour. Yeah, mm -hmm. funny little fella. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way. That way. Yeah. <laughs>